By the end of the 1960s, America was in a very different place than it had been a decade earlier. And a lot of people took one look around and reacted, I would say rather poorly. I don't like it one bit! As in any time of great social upheaval, there was the inevitable backlash. And in this case, it came in the form of a certain subset of people getting big into religion. The overwhelming majority of them went into conservative sects where the teachings of Jesus were, you know... They're more like guidelines anyway. Particularly when it came to things like loving your neighbor or blessing the meek. But for a small percentage, that still leaves a pretty big number of actual people. They gravitated into alternative religions. These alternative religions met the definition of the word cult in this standard way, meaning they worship a different kind of fake shit than the fake shit worship by mainstream religion. You had your bigger cults, the Hare Krishnas, the Children of God, even the People's Temple. But smaller cults exploded in the 70s with people embracing any number of crazy-ass ideas coalescing around a charismatic leader who took all their money and had sex with them. It's nice work when you can get it. Mm. The vast majority of these groups lived fast, died young, and their members eventually moved on to other silly bullshit or just got old enough to understand that not wearing shoes and having lots of sex while people watched and chanted didn't really pay the bills. But for a very few of these groups, they continued long after most Americans had given up, took a bath, voted for Reagan, got jobs, and got on with the serious business of capitalism, which was and is the one true religion of this dumb country.